Hey guys, Jedi Marine here with another Semper Sundays. Today, going to be talking about a Harold C. Agerholm. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. He was a Private First Class. He served with 4th Battalion, 10th Marines, out of the 2nd Marine Division. Um, this battle takes place, or took place on Saipan in the Marianas Islands. Um, and his particular um, what do you call it his particular situation here I guess happened on July 7th of uh, 1944 and <clears throat> basically there had been fighting on the islands for 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 three weeks at that point and uh, it was rough I mean things have been had been not easy uh, for the Marines there they, um, the Japanese were very, very determined to stop the Marines. Um, and during this fighting, the enemy launched a, a fierce counterattack against their positions, against the Marines' positions, and they also were able to overrun a, um, an artillery battalion that was relatively close to where, to where this Marine was. Um, <clears throat> knowing that the enemy had overtaken that position, uh, PFC Agerholm jumped up at the chance to volunteer to go uh, try to help those Marines out to to kick the enemy's ass and then to, to evacuate the wounded. Um, he was able to find an abandoned um, ambulance jeep and for three hours he made trips back and forth into very very heavy um, rifle fire and mortar fire and by himself, during his three hours, he loaded and evacuated 45 casualties during his three-hour period. The entire time being shot at, um, having these mortars just raining down all around him. And uh, he did this not even considering how tired he was, not considering the danger. Um, you know, None of that. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. His fellow Marines needed help, and he was there to help them. Um, towards the end of this, he's seen there was two Marines that were laid out in the open um, that were hurt, and being the fucking beast that he is, or that he was, he sprinted out there to try to help them, but doing so, he ended up getting shot um, by a Japanese sniper, and he eventually died from those wounds. Um, but because of him, because of what he was willing to do and the, and the sacrifice that he gave, 45 Marines were able to, were able to make it back and, and receive the medical attention that they needed. Otherwise, they just, chances are they would have laid there, you know, wherever they were, and they would have died. Um, so one dude saved 45 people. I mean, just think about that. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Pretty fucking amazing. So yeah, alright guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up, and I'll see you in the next one. Simplify.